Then we start to print the color offset of lip. So first we go to fire. We find out that the test print fire, the color offset calibration fire. Here, this picture with three layer, white, color, and varnish. The white on the bottom, the color on the top of the white, and then the varnish. Before we do the color offset calibration, we need to go to the setting. We go to advanced function. We choose print by normal. That means we print by KCMY with white and with varnish print out. We open by normal, and then we click save. Please remember, every setting you change, you must click save. Otherwise, the mainboard will not receive the parameter setting from the software. Because this system, all the settings are written on the mainboard, but not from the software. It's for safety and also for prevent some values of your computer. So to any setting, you must click save. And for be sure you can load again. To be, to be sure if the setting like this. For example, I choose by only color, but I not, I not choose safe. Then I load again, it will still back to normal. That means you are not written to the mainboard, succeed. So we just choose the setting, click safe, then print. After we setting from here, then we go to the fire and go to the file for class calibration and right click to do the test task setting and we can start right click print then we can go to start printing also before we print we must be sure the carriage we are not print head we are not scratch the print head we did the head detect already we can start printing Here we show the printing processing. Also, we need to go to the setting, and we see right now we print by to right here by to right. So we remember here we choose to right, and here we choose by normal. And after print, we go to the. setting, adjust. Here, horizontal left or right, because right now we print back to right. So if right is overlap, we change the number here. Why now? Why now? Why now? Huh? Ah. <coughs> 打这个探索表, 这地方是零是什么? <coughs> Then the machine starts to print white and the base first. Then print the color on the top of the white and then print varnish on the top of the color. So after print the square, we need to check if any overlap of the color or white or varnish. So we can see the picture is printed white on the bottom. Then print the color on top of the white then print varnish. So we can see the printer start to print wet on the bottom, then print the color on the top of the white, then print varnish on the top of the color. We must be sure the white color varnish we we'll print at the same position without overlap. If we have overlap, we need to 
do the adjust from the software. If we can see now it print the varnish on the top of the white on the top of the color. The crystal result. After print, we can see the the color bar print white on the bottom, then color black on the top of the white, and then varnish. Now we can see there's some dots because the paper is have dirty, and we just see if he have any overlap. From this color bar, we can see this don't have any overlap, white color varnish or at the same position. So if the white, if the color or varnish of left to left, to right, to top or to bottom, then we need to go to the software and do the little adjustment. So if we have any overlap on horizontal or vertical, so first we must be sure we go to setting and we can see the comma setting. Right now it's sure the predilection is to left. So that means the picture we print out is by one direction to left. If we have an overlap on print direction to left, then we go to adjust. And here have horizontal left and the vertical. Then if we have overlap by horizontal left, then we go to horizontal left, click here, and H1 means the basic print head. H1 is color print head, but not white print head. H1 is color print head. H2 is white print head. H4 is varnish print head. So if you have color print head overlap on horizontal, to left or to right, then you will just change the number by increasing or reduce the number. And if we have, a, have the overlap on the white print head, you also do the same way to minus or reduce the number. And also, if we have overlap on the varnish print head on the horizontal, you also just uh, increase or reduce the number. All the number you changed from the software, you need to go to choose save again. Otherwise, we are not working. You cannot save the number. After you save, they print it again to check if you have overlap again. If you still have overlap, then you also do the little adjustment again. So this is the overlap for print to left. And also, then we do the not check, we do the test print for the overlap color offset by horizontal to right. First, we go to setting and we choose print selection to right. And then click save. And then we print the same image as before. Choose this color bar print and we print again. After print, then if you still have a overlap by print to right, then also we go to adjust. Here we could adjust and we go to now we just choose change horizontal right but not left. We go to horizontal right and also we change the number by H1, H2, H4 as before. And if you have a vertical overlap, you also change the number to avoid the overlap from top or bottom. So this is the procedure to do the vertical offset calibration and also horizontal to right or to left calibration. Just remember all the number you change, you must click save and then print the picture to check again. So 
now it's all the procedures to do the calibration for color offset on horizontal and vertical. Thank you. We go to fire and we find out the test print file. Here, we load to the software. And here, we go to task setting. Here shows six number, six color number. That means also this picture ripped with KCMY plus white and varnish. Then we go to setting, advanced function to be sure here is normal KCMY white and varnish. And then we click save. And then we go to file, double click, print, go to the axis to do the calibration of the flat bed the material thickness. After alignment, be sure the gap is safety. Then we click off. Then we can start print the calibration file. Okay, after print, if it is overlap, then first we check, we go to set, we go to setting. We see here print selection right now is back to right and normal back to right option. And then we go to adjust test space and we go to horizontal right. Remember, we here choose to right but not to left because we print back to right right now. So to right, uh, remember here is head one is color print head but not white head one is color print head so that means we do any setting is according to white uh, to according to color print head color is zero for always h1 head one is color print head head two is white print head head three is empty head four is varnish so if we have any overlap by to left to right by to left or to right, we just uh, change the parameter on white print head or one print head. If the overlap to left move to left, you just uh, change the number by H2 for white print print head. If one should have overlap to left or to right, you just uh, increase or reduce the number by head four. So here, here, here is varnish print head. Here is white print head. Here, head one is color print head. So after we make sure the print out quality will not have any overlap by to right model, then we need to go to the setting. Again, we choose color control by normal again and print the last we choose by to left by to left and also we go to file we choose the file test print file and we print it by to left again also we be sure the gap is safety then start print then the picture will print out by to left model So after the picture print out finish, then we check if the pictures of left. If it still have our left by to left model, we go to adjust again and we find out the horizontal left here. Head space horizontal left because we print by to left model this time. Then we change the number if if uh, 
the white ink have overlap we just change the parameter by F2, parameter of head 2 increase or reduce the number one by one if the white ink print head have overlap to left or to right and also change the parameter here of varnish print head if it have an overlap by horizontal left or right So after we print the left, right, or uh, be sure they don't have any overlap, then we can go to bad election to print, go to the file and do the same, choose the same file. And we can choose, go to the setting and we choose by to bad election print and also must choose save. Remember all the setting also as before, you choose the file, but to left or to right, you must choose save. Otherwise, we are printed by same right. Please remember. All the settings here you change, after you change, you need to save. Click save option, and then print again. So again, let's continue. After you print left, right, option are not overlap, then we go to choose bad action to verify that bad action is printed perfect. We go to bad action and we choose save. And then we go to file, we choose the file again and we go to print to double check if this printed picture the white color varnish are not overlap. Why not? This they use what kind of ghost? I swear. Tassel paper. This they use what kind of paper? This paper between the tassel, right? Yeah. You tassel. This is this. This is what they use. 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 也能动，但是没有用，是吧？对。啊，这就没什么用。对。就我们这个没，我们那边的不能扣掉。嗯。刷新套色呗，就套打图套，打图套呗。你先校准，那校准好之后刷新它这个，要微调的话就打图套了。So now after you do the calibration for to left to right, and then you can print a picture with small words character. And if you still cannot get a good print quality by bad election, so first you need to check if the print head you install with horizontal vertical good position, and also the flat bit is is what level. If the physical is no problem, you still cannot get a good bad election print. You can go to little adjust back here, the number reduce or increase the number of battle action to get a good calibration for the battle action. And also then the color adjust. The color adjust is for used for if have any ink channel have a overlap inside the print head. H1 is for color, KCMY. For example, you print our picture you see the only the 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 magenta ink is is flaw is spread it's not stretched it's overlap so you just change the number by only the channel three from print head one to reduce or minus the number and head two is for white print head and head three is empty no change head four is varnish 
this is for change the overlap to right to left parameter of the overlap inside the print head nozzle, but not for the totally print head for each channel setting. Because the recall print head have four channel for each print head. The color print head is four color in one print head. The head two white print head is four channel all for white. And the head four is four channel all for varnish print head. Here's for change the small parameter changing to prevent one channel, any one channel overlap of the print head. So normally here just keep as default, no change. Especially any any color have the terrible overlap, then you can do the small calibration for each channel setting. So here's all the setting of the calibration.